Good morning, Jonathan Upton with the latest on this morning's massive blackout here in Darwin. Well, here is what we know right at the moment. All schools are closed, so is the public service. Charles Darwin University, that's going to be shut down until at least this afternoon. The bus network has stopped running and all Territory motorists are being advised to please stay off the roads unless it's absolutely necessary. Police are now at least directing traffic at our major intersections. It is a dangerous situation though and you can help out by staying at home. Now this outage is extremely widespread. Initially it went as far as Catherine and Pine Creek. These towns have now been restored. We've just heard in the last couple of moments that parts of Palmerston have also been restored. But that said, Darwin, rural residents, they've been warned to expect an extended outage that could last for several hours yet. Now Power and Water has blamed this blackout on a trip circuit breaker at the Hudson Creek substation which activated a protection system at Channel Island Power Station and that caused this huge transmission shutdown. Now Nine News will keep you informed here on Facebook. Of course we hope to have all the details in Nine News at 6pm. Hopefully you'll be able to see it and if you've got a news tip on this developing situation send us a message here on our Facebook page. Good morning. Good morning, Jonathan Upton again with this special Facebook news break. Power and water crews are working frantically to restore services to tens of thousands of customers affected by this morning's huge blackout. Parts of Palmerston are now back online. Power has also been returned to Pine Creek and Catherine. And just in the last little while, we've heard that the suburb of Anula, out in Darwin's northern suburbs, has also had services restored. However, this is a monumental job. And Darwin residents in the city and also the bulk of the northern suburbs have been warned it could be several more hours at least before this problem is fixed. The blackout has forced widespread closures. Schools have been closed. Also, Charles Darwin University shut. The public service isn't operating today. Courts have been closed. Libraries closed. Council pools won't open today. And the bus network has been crippled as well. Most private businesses have been closed, although we are hearing the major supermarkets out of Casuarina Square will be open today. As you can see, one of the major issues today has been on our road scores of traffic lights are out and police have been directing traffic at our major intersections. But unless it's absolutely necessary, you are being encouraged to stay at home. So what caused all of this? Well, the blackout has been blamed on a trip circuit breaker at the Hudson Creek substation. That activated a protection system at Channel Island Power Station and ultimately caused this massive transmission failure. Now, Nine News will keep you across all of the developments as they happen. Our crews are out there gathering all the details. Hopefully, by 6pm, you'll be able to see our news here on Channel 9. Until then, keep us informed here on Facebook. If you've got a news tip, please send us a private message. Nine News Darwin, here on Facebook. When the big events happen in Darwin. Good evening, nearly 70,000 power and water customers have been left in the dark. Time will make sure you see it first. When can we be guaranteed a reliable supply? Turfed out of the hotel at 3 o'clock this morning. I'll just have to find another way home. For most many, the damage has already been done. We're dedicated to keeping you informed 24 hours a day. Good morning, Jonathan Upton again with this special Facebook news break. Nine News, your local news leader.